Welcome everyone, Gamer Cop here. This is episode 50 of my game plan fishing North Atlantic. So today we're gonna try out another boat. So I'm I'm hoping, I don't know if this will actually happen or not, but uh, my goal right now is to have three more episodes of this. So this one and then two more. We have three total ships. We're gonna try one out today. We're gonna try out the Nova Scotia today. Then I think in the next episode, we'll try out the Lunar Pal. And then I think in the final episode, we'll try out the Atlantic Catcher. Uh, we may have to take out some loans, but that's okay. We're just going to try those ones out and go for it. Uh, but today, we're going to try out the cheapest of those, which is the uh, the Nova Scotia. So we're going to try that one out today. So if we go to the shipyard here, available, the Nova Scotia, $9 million uh, crabbing boat. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. I wish you could lease some like farming simulator. Um, and then let's go back to the shipyard here. Owned. Honestly, we're probably going to just let's go ahead and sell this. We're not going to use it again. Um, I'll hold on to the Moby D. That's kind of like my last resort money maker, and we're not going to get hardly anything for it. So uh, that guy's a good money maker for us. The Dexter, um, we're going to sell it off as well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sell it off as well. And the reason being, uh, since our next boat is going to be. A big trawling boat it's gonna be the lunar bow which is a big trawling boat so that'll be our next purchase that'll be kind of replacing that anyways um, and we'll probably end up selling this guy off um, after we're done with it just because we're not gonna really need it so yeah we take a little bit of a loss but it'll be okay um, so one point I couldn't imagine 1.3 million <laughs> pounds of crab I couldn't imagine getting that much but uh, let's go to the bar, are there any tips for crabs? No, there's not. Well, we'll buy that, because there might be on the ground near the lobster, at least. And let's just confirm here, well, before I lose it. Um, Wiki, we are in G January 27th. We should be able to do snow crab, I believe. Yep, 1st of November to 31st of March. So we're right smack in the middle of the snow crab season, so we should be good to go there. Let's hop out of there, go back into here. Uh, no, we need to go fishing gear. Uh, buy bait. We'll just buy how many can we buy? 40? Oh, we don't need that many, probably. 16 will probably be more than enough. Um, buy large pots. We're not going to need too many. We'll do. We'll do 14. We'll set 14 out at a time. Well, let's do 20. They're not really, I mean, that, they're not that expensive. So we'll do 20 of those guys. Um, and we will go out and I'll probably do some off camera fishing as well. But let's go ahead and. Uh, you can't even see the boat really right now with what we got going on. Um, let's do town crew on board. That should be a good enough crew. Um, crew house, are any of you guys super great? You're actually pretty good. We'll have you go with us. Why not? We'll just bring you. Uh, okay, because so we can have five on board this guy. Okay, so where was that lobster tip at? Um... Ooh, up there. Let's head up there to see if there's anything good up there. Uh, oh, wait a second. Um, while we're in port, upgrades. I'm not going to worry about our a lot of our things that we have. We're not going to worry about the engine either. I think it's just kind of unnecessary. Fish sonar, though, we do need the best of the best for that. Um, and that's... Side thrusters are super helpful, so I'm actually going to get those. Uh, buoy, searchlights, fish sonar, autopilot, radar, engine... No, we don't need any other stuff. So we'll just check out get that stuff. Okay, now we should be good to go. Let's get this big, oh, that's my dog barking. Let me let him out of the office there. There we go, sorry about that. Yeah, we'll head up here. That's a good looking boat, what boat is that? That's the, oh, the Atlantic Catcher. That thing's a good looking boat right there. I like the look of that. All right, here is our new boat, the Nova Scotia. Let's take a nice little uh, maybe like right there is kind of a good thumbnail shot. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's a good shot right there. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get to it here. Uh, let's go on the map. I don't, again, I don't know what we're going to find here. And we'll try to head down that way. We'll check for some crabs along there. Yeah, we'll try this. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still recovering a little bit, but doing fine. Okay, let's see. And they, they updated this, so all the stuff has been moved around a little bit. Let's go ahead and just floor it and see what happens. If we start seeing crab pop up, then I will start worrying about doing something else. 
start getting the stuff ready and stuff like that but until we get that popping up there's a lobster on there that's a good sign i think maybe potentially uh means there's stuff down there i don't know maybe my looking at it from the lobster perspective is not a good idea but hey we'll try it i'm not i don't know maybe, you know what maybe we should do just because we're up here there's another lobster do i wait uh, I don't think we're gonna have very good luck finding crab this way. Let's go ahead and just zoom into Ingle's head real quick, because it's not that far away. Let's see if we can get some tips for crab. Town, bar, tips. There we go, perfect, okay. And that's, how are we doing on fuel? We're probably doing fine, yeah, we might as well just top up while we're here. Okay, so, crab from, ooh, right down there, okay. So we'll head down there. We'll try that spot. I think that'll have probably better luck for us. So that should be fine. Let's get us a little bit closer before I fast forward time. So we're doing things during the daytime, hopefully. We'll try to go right about that stretch of the area there. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe a touch further. Yeah, right in there. Okay, that'll be fine. Um, let's go ahead. Fast forward some time just so it's a little bit easier to see what we got going on here. Let's get us up to just eight. Oof, that's not very bright. Eight in the morning. Let's do 10. There we go, that'll work for us. I know it's not it's still so dark out. <laughs> it is winter time, so that's fair, I guess. Um, okay, that's so well, there's a crab right there. I know that's not really, oh, there's another crab right there. I think we've probably got a good spot. That's a couple of crab. Let's slow down and let's get some people ready to go. Uh, you're gonna do that you're gonna prepare the bait you might as well do some cooking bait and set and you're just uh you might as well just do nothing <laughs> i guess i don't have anything else for you to do right now uh for certain i can't i feel like you normally only have three on there so maybe this will speed things up where it's actually worth doing crab a little bit more honestly that'll probably have a big a big deal for us uh let's do to not stack pots and then they'll start working on getting some of that done on deck See, now we're not seeing any crab. That was the two crab we're going to find. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, there's some crab down there. Okay. Now we're probably not going to get a ton. I know. It'll be fine. Oh, it hasn't been prepared yet. All right. There he goes. He's got one prepared now, right? There we go. Okay. It's been prepared. We'll wait for another crab to pop up, and we'll go ahead and uh, dump this pot off. There's a couple crab down there. Throw that guy in right there. That's a big, nice radius. I like that. It's weird how it's all down at the back of the boat, but I guess it just kind of depends on what boat you're on and all that good stuff. So, yeah, this tip seems to be pretty good. We're not, I mean, it's not a ton of crab, but there's a few crab down there, and you can catch crab. You'll catch plenty of crab that way. You'll probably catch about 1,000 pounds of pot. So uh, 20,000 pounds of crab, I'd actually be pretty happy getting on board. Um, and then I'll probably re, honestly rebait and reset before we head into port to sell. Um, we passed a few crab. Let me wait for one more to pop up on there. There's a lobster there. Come on, let's get some crab. Come on, guys. There's a crab there. Go ahead and throw that one. Perfect. Now, our pots might be a little spread out, but that's okay. I'll keep you guys in for some of everything I do. Obviously, the episode will be too long otherwise, but uh, we'll take a look around the ship uh, when we're pulling in pots because that will just have a little bit more time then. Uh, so we'll do that towards the end here. But what we're going to do now, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. I feel like he's going super slow. Maybe it's just me, though. Here we go. There's crab down there. We'll keep throwing them. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going about my business. I'll keep throwing out some pots and I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to reel them in. All right, welcome back. So, um, well, I went down this way, stopped seeing crabs, went up this way, started seeing crabs again. Got a lot of crabs through right through here, I think is a good section. So I put a crab out there and then, yeah, finish out down here. So just kind of a weird little pattern, but hey, hopefully we catch some stuff. Um, let's go ahead and take a look around this ship. <sighs> Nice ship up here, I like it. Good open spaces. Oop, that took me right outside. Crane operation there. Wow, that took me. Holy smokes, that took me clear out here. Well, that's, that's different. <laughs> um, okay. Oop, am I stuck? Oh, there we go. Let's go up this way. 
So that's back, that's where we were. It's odd that that door took me clear out there. Let's go down here. Good bunk room there. Another good bunk room there. That one doesn't open up. This goes out to the bottom deck where we were just at. That's everything actually in here, huh? Yeah. Okay. Close that up. Love you can see in there. Those would be some good rooms actually to be in. Those would actually be pretty nice. Coming around here. Assuming that goes up, yep, just to the top deck there. Yep, I don't know if he can make it up all the way. Let's go ahead and see here. Oh yeah, he probably can. Yeah, go to roof. Go up all the way to the roof here. Hop back down. We can actually, if we want to, well, if we wanted to jump out there, we could take our little expressway. I wish you'd, nope, nope, don't want to do that. I wish you'd walk faster on these boats, but. Life ra boat there. Life raft. Emergency boat, escape boat, however you want to look at it. Um, this looks like, yeah, can we get, I don't think we can access any of this stuff here. Oh, there we go. Go to the wheelhouse. We'll go to that in a second. This is kind of our working deck looks like. Open freezer door to our bait freezer. Our bait set up there. And this is where you can just fall into the ocean if you're not careful, looks like. Um, work zone back here. Fantastic. All right, yeah, let's go down into the wheel room. I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to look like. It's a fairly large boat. Oh, that takes us up to here. Go to work deck. Oh, strange. And that takes us... Oh, the wheelhouse. That was the wheel room. No, wheelhouse. Yeah, up here. That makes sense. Okay. Well, that's everything, I suppose. Back in our chair. Let's go ahead and... How long has been out there? Two hours. Let's go ahead and... Oh, nope. Let's fast forward some time. Uh, that should do it. Of course, it's dark out. Um, ooh, girl in the green on there. Map. 17 hours, 50 minutes. I feel like the math is not adding up, but that's okay. Let's uh, fast forward just one more hour. I think I'll be fine. Ooh, I feel like it got darker, though it should be getting lighter. It's starting to get into daytime now. Let's go ahead and get all of our lights on so we can see what's going on. And that one's blue, so let's go ahead and full speed ahead, go pick up that pot. Let's get you guys good to go. Um, actually, hold on a second. Who is the worst at sorting crabs? Let's see here, info. You are a three, I bet you, you are the worst. I don't even have to check the rest of what's going on. Uh, you are going to do that, and the rest of you are going to sort crabs for me. You guys should be able to sort through a, a pot pretty quickly, I would hope, honestly. All right. Let's see if we can do this without... It's so dark out. Sorry, guys. Oh, gosh. I usually try not to do that, but it is what it is now. Yeah, that front light really does suck. Maybe I should have bought a better one. There's our buoy right there, if you can even see it. Gosh, that's way out there or not way out there but very hard to see it looks like yeah it should be that little red speck right there they should just grab it when we get close enough i will say this thing does not accelerate fast but it goes quick once it gets going so it's one of those types of things i can't see oh there it is right there Yep, we're doing good. And nice. Grabbed it. We can keep accelerating down to the next pot down here. Hopefully they don't glitch. I've had some glitches with the crane operators and other boats. I haven't done this boat yet, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, it's right there. We probably should start slowing down a little bit. Coming in a little hot. Yeah, they should be able to sort that fairly quickly. Yeah, they're going pretty quick. Oh, are they already done? Look at that. That was a fast sort. Good job. Good job, guys. 
finally happy with your working. I can't see the buoy to save my life. Should be right on it right now. There we go. Thank goodness you guys grabbed it. I couldn't see it. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that is the one trick. I wish there was like a way you could gamma up on this game or something like that, like Ark, but I don't know if you can or not. I gotta make sure I don't hit the boats around us either. Yeah, we're starting to get a little close to that guy. Definitely closer than I'd want to be. I can't even see. I'm trying to rely strictly on this, which is not helpful either. Try to put the side thrusters on to move us over a little bit. Slow ourselves way down here because we're about ready to pass it, and I bet you it's like way out here somewhere. Oh, goodness. Where is it at? They're ready for another pot. I just can't see this one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're a little too far out. Okay, back up. Figure we'd be a bit far out on that one. Yeah, see, this thing just is just a bit of a tank to get this thing going one way or the other. Come on now. <laughs> now at least we're going backwards. Good gravy. Oh, come on. Get over. Side thrusters are full bore that way. There you go. Oh, good gravy. All right, this next one I'm going to try to... Oh, that's right. It's not going to let me do it while they're sorting. Well, anyhow, what I'm going to do is keep working on pulling in all of our crap. How are we doing, actually? 30? Uh, oh, actually, that's not too bad because we just pulled in our third one. That's about 15, 1,600 pounds per pot. That's not too bad. If we keep that up, we'll be doing okay. All right, well, anyhow, I will see you guys in a bit. I will bring you guys back in when it's time to go sell these bad boys. Ah, welcome back, everyone. Well, um, I'm back in port. We have no fish on board, and here is why. We have no crab. Uh, not that. This. If we go out here, our crab bots are still all out here. Yes, I could have picked them up again, but after <laughs> picking them all up, or almost all of them up, the first time and being out here for over an hour in real time and then uh oh uh, i had a glitch where so sometimes what i'll I've, I've, this is I've, this is now the second time i've gotten it recently um with crab fishing second time recently so this is a huge issue that needs to be fixed and i would not recommend crab fishing until this is resolved <laughs> but uh what will happen is my crane operator will glitch out he will go to pull on a crab pot and the crab pot will just dangle here off the side of the ship and he won't pull it on and I can't fast travel. I can't save the game at all. I cannot save the game. All I can do is quit. All I can do is quit. And when I try to load a game even, it wouldn't let me do that. It froze the game. So um, I had to actually force close the game. <laughs> I was not happy, but anyhow, that's the end of the episode, guys. We made no money. We tried out a ship. Um, that is very frustrating that the game still has glitches like that, if I'm just going to be honest. But um, yeah, regardless, there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Gamer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Gamer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.